Hey guys, Lego Zero JPS here, and here we are looking at Master Grade Wing Zero, Wing Gundam Zero EW version Katoki from the uh, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz line. I do like at the bottom it says transformable mobile suit with Zero system AC one nine five Eve Wars. I'm pretty sure because in the movie it was that take place right around the time of. It was happening in December. Or it was like a Christmas war or something. I don't remember. I haven't watched the movie in so long. But yeah, that's basically this. This is the redone of the Wing Zero. So it's almost a completely new build. Uh, you also get a uh, shield with it, this one. I know there's like a middle build version or something. This one that comes with the shield, I think. But the, this one does stand out better. Uh, what you don't see in the box is uh, his wing bits here. They do open up unlike the... Uh, there's a little bit more with them opening up now. Uh, I think the other the normal ones did, but this one does a little bit better. Um, actually, if you look here on the legs here, you can see that there is a split here. So the armor doesn't fully close up like the normal old one used to do. That is normal, so like you see here on the leg and down here is completely new. I haven't done the transformation yet, but um, the transformation is different. So yeah, it does transform because you can see down here at the bottom of the box. There it is in bird mode, but that is atmospheric bird mode. Yeah, this one comes with two different bird modes. A bird mode for space and a bird mode for atmosphere. So that's something to go by. Um, if you look at this side of the box, I'm trying to do this. So you see the weapons, the Buster rifle. Um, there can be combined, and there also um can be folded up. Too bad the focus isn't working. There it is. So you can kind of see that the uh. There's a folder version of the Buster Rifle. So you got the folder version of Buster Rifle and you got the normal. And you got the shield. Here's a front and back and some of uh... some pictures here and there. So what you see is the head. Uh, there is an opening gimmick in the head. Uh, the shoulder flaps move. The cockpit opens. Um, that's the shoulder. You can show that the shoulder can come out far enough so you can do like the iconic pose of it holding the twin buster rifles together. You got an ab crunch. Uh, the arm guards do slide up and that part that they're showing right there is the locking mechanism you use to clip into I think the waist for bird mode, double jointed knees, and he actually has a toe bend, and the knee armor moves. And then you also have opening parts up on this thing. Uh, the opening parts is similar to like the uh, new Gundam Verka I have, where like there's like opening parts on it. And here you have the uh, the two versions of bird mode. They're basically the same, except the only difference is one has the um, outside wings on the front covering the body. The other ones have them outwards on the back. So the front one here with the wings on the front, this is the at outside atmosphere, so space bird mode. So the one we're looking at on the box was the space bird mode, okay. And here is the in atmosphere one, so the wings are behind. Uh, so I think there was somewhere on the box. Oh yeah, you do get a uh, specifications of the model. Model number triple X G double zero W double zero W zero. Height sixteen point seven meters, eight tons. Gundinium alloy, two machine cannons, twin Buster rifle, two beam sabers, and a shield. Part of the Colleen's Liberation Organization. But that's enough of the box. 
Here's the bad boy himself, Wing Zero. Now, I will say this much. Um, and I was taking pictures and showing this to a friend. This is what uh, I do like that what they did with this because the same thing they did with this is what they did with the uh, real gray. I mean, not the real gray, the Master Gray RX 78 3.0. And that is, they use like a two-tone colors on the parts. Because I think the RX-78 2 3.0, they use like two-tone white, two-tone red, and two-tone blue. So you had two different colors of them. Or two different shades of them. On this one, you get two shades of blue. Now, you may not be able to notice it, but if you look right here where my thumb is. Uh, here is a darker blue, and above it is a lighter shade of blue. So you use this all over on the kit. So it's like here on the crotch crotch area, the front skirts, the blue, it's two toned. I think the light is catching it, so you can see it. The front skirts here, it's hard to notice it, but the little sections up there. Um, try to focus this. And yeah, the little section right there, that's a two tone blue. On the side skirts, the upper part is the lighter blue, the lower is the darker blue. On the arms, you have a darker blue, a lighter blue, and a darker blue. They kind of mesh together there. On the body, it's kind of hard to notice, but there is a... Well, not really, because here you can see the lighter blue down underneath, and then where the cockpit is, it's a darker blue. Here on the side, these little pieces here are the lighter blue while the, around the rest of the body is darker blue. Also, I had to super glue this one, this little piece in here, in here because it will not stay in. Friction does not like it. On the shoulders, uh, the ring here is a lighter blue, but the piece inside is a darker blue, I believe. Yeah. The ring piece is a. Uh, <laughs> trying to make him keep him stand. He can stand somewhere, but the way I had him standing was kind of like in an iconic pose of his, so he kind of wasn't standing that well. So I had to readjust his feet. Um, so the ring part here, the outer ring is the light blue, but the inner piece is a darker blue. And also, yes, you do get like gray parts to show through a lot of sections. So that is a gray part in there behind it from the shoulders inner frame showing through. Um, on the shoulders up here, the top part is a darker blue while the other part is a lighter blue. Um, on the head, this upper vent part, this upper ear part is the darker blue while the lower one is the lighter blue. So yeah, that's all the two shade blues you get. Um, so now in terms of stickers, he doesn't come with a lot. You get the front cameras, the eyes, the back camera, and the chest on the, the body. And then you get, I believe, two more. Oh yeah, and then you get one each for the uh, Buster rifles. And you also get another one, another green one, for the shield. Kind of odd that they give you one for the shield, even though I believe on the shield it was a clear green part. No, there was clear white parts, so they didn't need it. I was going to say it was a clear green part, but no, it wasn't that. So that's for all the little stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get on to the articulation. So for articulation, and this is better than the old one, because the old one was like 2000, early 2000s. So this one does come a long way. It's almost been 20 years. So the head goes up and down, forwards and backwards, and can rotate 360. Now with version, I should mention this now, with version Kotoki's, they usually have a, a gimmick or something in them to show something. Like with the new Gundam, it was like parts opening up or something to show the cycle frame. On this one, you have parts that move or open up to show um, the zero system activated. So on this one, the ear is supposed to open up. 
if I can actually get this. Also, this Master Gate is polycapless. There is no polycaps on this Master Gate. Yes, you heard right. No polycaps. So, I'm trying to show this off. I'm trying to remember which section opens up. But, um, there's supposed to be a part in here that moves. There it is. So you do like that so you expose this little white section in here. This is supposed to be the zero system activated, quote unquote. Okay, so it's you move the bottom one down, not the top one. There we go. So you do like that for the head and that shows off the head doing the it's zero system is activated. And like I said, there's no polycap. Um, was this an easy build to do? Uh, not entirely. It took a while to do some things here and there, but it was doable. Uh, let me see if I can get this on. Nah, I can't do nothing about that. So the body, it has the app crunch like it, sh like I showed on the box. And it can rotate around side to side, about 45 degrees. And it's not a ball joint, so it's on a peg. Because I think the old one was a... The old one was a double peg joint, I believe. So you had a peg down below and a peg up here. So it still had the double ball joint. So this one does it different. So peg here and then there's a hinge in here. So the machine guns do open up. Like so. Be mindful there is small pieces and uh, the machine guns are one of the smaller pieces. So be mindful of that. The cockpit, um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm trying to do this when I have no fingernails. It sucks. And there goes the bottom piece popping off. So there is the cockpit opening up. Normally I don't expect that to happen. Um, these pieces don't move and if I didn't super glue these uh, bottom parts in they would be sliding off right right now so the arms can come out that far so they do get a good motion and also not only that it actually does move part of this body too so this kind of move ju juts out a little bit so these um the chest kind of moves out a little bit. They can move in and out. The shoulders, you have this part, these two white parts that move. And it does slide down for transformation. Building these shoulders is a pain because you got to get the slide and build the shoulder connector part. And connect it onto the track. Well, slide it on the track. Well, push it through the track and then sandwich the armor parts around it. So the arms can go up parallel to the body. They ain't going to go too high up because how that shoulder is in there. So it goes up yay high, which is not bad. <laughs> Rotation below the shoulders. And that on that That should not be loose. I don't know why it's feeling loose. And then the V fan pops off too. So rotation below the shoulders 360. Okay, fine. You can stay off. I want to say it's double. He has double jointed elbows, but yeah, he has double jointed elbows. But you're not going to get a full bend out of it because. It, how the arms are. Plus this one doesn't want to give me the double joint and I think it's probably this connector. 
the arm connector in there that's loose. I might have to fix that, but that means taking off the entire arm to do it. And if this V fan comes off again, I'm gonna have to super glue it on. So we won't touch the left arm. So with the arms, like you saw, there is a Actually, I'm going to just remove the head just for the sake of not having that issue. So with the arm, so, well, thank this arm is, you can slide up this part and reveal a connector. Like I said, it connects into, I believe, the front skirts. So you can do this on both sides. And also, the uh, red part here, the fin moves in and out for transformation. Fingers are, the hands are ball jointed and thumb is ball jointed and can move. These are the uh, style of hands where you just, the manipulators where you switch them out. So there's that. I'm using the displayed open hands because I had them displayed before this review in his iconic pose where he's, you know, how he first appeared. And he strikes that pose before taking off. So he was in that pose. Front skirts. Are ball jointed that can move upwards. Back skirts are separate, ball jointed, they can move upward. Actually, no, these are not. The back skirt is done differently. I just remembered. And in fact, hold on, I want to do something. Oh, wait, I don't think I can. So give me a second here to fix his back skirt because I just realized what. Uh, this is on him. And also I wanted to move the wings but these are harder to move than the other one. So the back skirts are ball jointed and they do move. But I don't want to move them too much because I'll pop them off because these are not held in there that f hard that you know by much like the old one is. Side skirts are actually more or less towards the back skirts area because there's like a little gap in there for these to hold in there. But they slide out and they are like hinged and everything. This is for transformation so they really get out the way. Legs are pegged in so they can go forwards and back. Also What's new about this one is they're on a sliding track. Um, so it's hard to tell, but right in there. So if you notice, the other leg is back. Yeah, it's a sliding track. They put this on a sliding track now, now. which is nice. So pegged, so it's pegged in here so it can actually, you know, move out pretty far and I don't think it can come down oh yes it can it can come down so yes you can get the legs to come down it's kind of like how the uh, freedom 2.0 was which also translated into the justice and the uh, providence double jointed knees and you got that beautiful hip armor movement but this one doesn't seem to work and the knee armor is segmented too So it can move and it splits. His knees is double jointed. Oh, I know what I was doing wrong. So I forgot one important thing before that. So normally, because of how this armor is, his knees only bends 90 degrees. Actually, it would be better if I just take this off and show you. So normally his leg will only bend 90 degrees because of how his leg is. Now, this is just due to design, but if you want to go 180, you have to move the armor out the way, and then you can bend 180, like so. And yes, the leg armor can actually move with it. There is more moving panels here. So this back part here, and on the ankles. So these move up and out the way. 
So you can have quite a bit of open movement parts. And still get that decent 180 bend. So this is just for better bend. This is to lock it from bending you know, too much. And this part's down here that's open it up. Uh, these are for like zero system activated. The toes, you got a toe bend up here, and then you have a foot bend. So yeah, it's pretty standard and good for what you get. Now, let's get on to the, uh, the other section, the wings. Because this is, you know, really well done. So I can put everything back on them. I might have to fix this arm or something or put some super glue into the uh I'm probably gonna end up putting some super glue into the socket or something just to tighten up that joint because that's that's a loose joint and I don't like that. It shouldn't be like that. So here's the nice thing about this thing. There is a hinge. Oh crap. No 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 well, actually, well, let me just take off the wings now because this is going to get in the way. And then I can go over the wings separately and put this back on because I need this to be attached anyways. So give me a second to remove all the wings. So the backpack here is done differently where it actually is pegged in and I didn't mean to do that. This is rebuilt from the old one where these parts hang up higher than the normal one did because I think the old one these were all on the same level. But these still came up higher so you build these arms here for the wings which they move here on a peg. And they can rotate and then there's like another hinge over here with the rotate and then a peg here so they can rotate on that now these you just got a peg so they can rotate around that's it simple but the back itself it's hinged and everything so it can actually move around it can move back like so and up it can do quite a bit of rotation movement so there it can actually slide off and down and come down like so yep the connector is built so the connector into the, is built into the body but you can it pegs into the backpack so it, it gives it a good range of motion to work with which is really good these wings here are the same. They're nothing too special. So, nothing too special. Standard fair wings. And then you have a... And that opens up, you know, for flight or whatever. And this is done differently because I think on the old one, it's just like one plastic piece. This is two pieces together. So, there is... A little bit of like you know you can do that with it so so you can't see the last one because it's back up in here but the first and the third one are one piece and the second and fourth one is another piece and that's on both of them and like I said it can rotate and do all that and it can hinge up there and your beans zipper handles are stored back here I'm really tempted to super glue that that part. <laughs> it's driving me bananas. Next up, I'm gonna put one wing on so I can just look at the other.
So this is the wings, the other wings. It looks like the old ones. On the old one, I think these three was like, I don't know. They was like on a bar inside and then like if you move one, the others move. Nope, these are all individual. All the way around. But when you open it, you get one extra one. And also you have a a little tab here. There's a slot here. Did you can see? And this little um clip here that rotate that moves in and out. This is for the twin buster rifles to be stored. You can store one at each wing. And also this wing is in inside too. So this is redone from the old one and much better designed. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. And still good looking. I think I got those wings on right on the right side. I might have put them on the wrong side. Oh no, I did the wings backwards. Whoops. <sighs> the wings are on the wrong side. I did a... I goofed. Yeah, and also, he's... He, yeah, it does show, like, he has a hard time standing. He doesn't have a bad footprint, per se. It's just trying to get him to stand on it and keep his weight evenly um, distributed. Because he will not want to stand. He'll instantly just go topple back heavy. Can you disconnect the backpack from him? Uh, I can, but it's hard to do. So yeah, you can uh, have him displayed. <sighs> Get over the shoulder. Like so, like he normally would be. And I believe these wings are, the feathers are pushed forward. So yeah, it can be displayed like he would be in the anime. I don't know if these can lock in on each other. I haven't looked in the manual for that, but I do know that option is there to do that. But uh, when I get to the accessories, I'm going to put him on his action base because yes, he comes with an action base. Not like the old one, like the old one came with, no, he actually comes with like one of those action base ones or whatever they call it now I don't know he comes with one of those so let's get on to the uh, accessories so in terms of accessories and let's uh, push him back here he comes with an action base and unlike the old one where it connected into his wings this way it connects into his butt so yeah it's one of these action bases I've seen this part with the F91 and the hairdos I seen this part with the F91. I think I also seen this with the Hiradus and the that Mega Bazooka launcher I got for the Hiyakushiki. So yeah, I seen three Master Grades. Well, I seen four kits with um, these parts. So he comes with an action base, and like I said, it connects to his butt. Like, um, right here, in this little blue section, you can't really see it, but it connects there. So now, he's on an action base. So, no more issues with him standing. So, and like I said, the pose I had him in was literally that pose from the movie. So, I had to push, you can do this pose too by pushing one, make sure one leg is in the back spot and one leg is in the front spot or slid forward and just cross them like so. Actually, I think I did it backwards. 
this one back it's the right forward and the left back and just do like so so the legs got the pose right open up his wings and boom I don't know why this is doing this I'm gonna have to you know what I'm gonna do this right now because I am not gonna keep dealing with this because it's gonna drive me bananas and up a wall Well, I didn't expect that part to pop off. Well, I probably am pushing too hard on it too, so eh, go figure. So yeah, this is the pose I had wing zero in. Like, I had him like this since I had him built, which was like a couple of days ago. So he was sitting like this for a while. Which is pretty amazing and awesome looking, if you ask me. So, but back to things, and he comes with the shield. Which, if you built the proto zero, then the shield is all the same to you this part opens out it does not extend or have anything opening on it up top there's good color separation all over it there's a sticker like I said you do have parts that opens out for connecting on it so yeah this back part that opens out oh uh, what I think there was something else that flipped out too on the side yeah you had these little tabs that flipped out on the side for the uh, the Buster Rifles and then you actually have this part in here that basically slides out. Now this is the part that goes on the body or covers the head and you just rotate this part pull it out and then just when this is connected on just like Proto Zero this part would just hang on his head and cover it or just to be able to cover his face um but that's when we'll get to that I haven't done a transformation yet either by the way um also the way this connects on the arm is by this um clip that little clip these little clips here it slides onto his arm and it just hangs on like so also I need to slide that part down we're not doing the transformation yet so that should not be exposed so there's that we got the buster rifles as you notice one is folded and one is not which side is which well this is the right side one this is right handed one because the part in here is supposed to fold down anyways so when you connect them together you can tell because if you look at them and you see this section here this section tells you if it's the uh, left or the right so this is the right and you open it up and then you can fold it in place open it up close it and lock it in place boom that is actually locking it in place to keep it from opening and closing and then you can fold down the site and boom it's ready for storage now if you want to use it as a use it for action just reverse the process and boom the handles is sort of finicky to pop out sometimes but they do come out and like I said, onto the shield with those tabs I mentioned here. 
there's little slots right here that pegs right into the shield like so. Now, I there is, I want to say that slot on his arm is also used for one other thing. I remember the manual mentioned in this, and this is hard to do, and it's going to probably pop out. This little section in here is supposed to pop out. There's a little peg in there. You can't see it. You can probably see it like right now. That little piece is supposed to pop out. Or, okay, no, there we go. If I do like this, this part comes out. I can sw swing it around like so. I just, I just turned it out and then uh, yeah, I think it's like this and maybe this is like it pegs into the arm. I'm not sure if that distance is far enough for that because that doesn't feel right. I'm not sure if the manual even mentions what it's for. Oh, never it is. So apparently this that little peg here is for connecting into the arm. But from what I'm looking at, it's just, oh, did I do, I think I did wrong because it's too far back for that. So what I'm supposed to do is just leave it like so. I just rotate this out and yeah, now it's actually, yeah, the distance is perfect. This is so you actually have a steadier grip on it. If you want to use that. Now. Can you use the twin buster rifle form? Yes, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other one set up just right. Oh, there we go. So go ahead and set up the twin buster rifles like they should be as they, they was combined. So, you can peg them, but I think you can only use one hand to hold it. And, uh, just like the older one, there is these little tabs here on the back, which corresponds to that on the chest. So, like, if you was using this on the chest, like having it connect, hook into the chest, right below the cockpit yeah he can't do that so when I get into like you know doing that it, I will show it um there are two um connectors here I don't know why that part is separating so you got this piece here I wasn't sure about this piece but apparently this connects here it's supposed to connect in there um, I'm honestly not too sure about that, what it's used for, but I, from what I've seen, it looks like it's, oh, wait, no, that piece is used for one of the bird modes. Yeah, so one of the bird modes actually, uh, can use that piece as a connector, and there's another one I have that is used as a connector. Now I'm looking at the manual, sorry, but I don't see the other one at all used. I just know that one is connected there, but other than that, there's like nothing that says like, hey, you use that for this. Like nothing, um, there's like nothing in the menu that says, hey, you can use this part here. 
Like, I have looked through the manual. I know it shows that part being used there, but... Oh, wait. No, that part is used. I see it. It's used to connect the wings together. But I'm also seeing the other one being used as well. So apparently it's dependent on how you want to use them. I guess if you're going to use it standing straight up like we see it normally. Then that part right there would be used. But you get another one which is this part. It goes like in the same location. I don't know which way is the top, whatever. But yeah, it would go like right there. So I think I get it. Because, yeah. This one is used if you're going to still use the action base normally within the back. So if I was going to have it displayed with a cloak, with this cloak um, closed on its back then that's how it would be displayed but since we're not doing that yeah I wouldn't use it and this is driving me bananas since the arm is off if you want to connect the shield I don't know why it's doing it so I just I didn't realize how to connect the shield either so if you want to connect the shield so firstly you gotta push this up so less surface area of it showing there's like little grooves on the side here and there's clips and you just slide the shield down on it actually I don't know how far down it's supposed to slide I'm just going by what the manual says there It doesn't go all the way down, but it comes down far enough. So that's basically most of the accessories that comes with this guy. And this arm is going to give me aneurysms. I just know it is. That's the sad part, and I have not even finished with the accessories either. So, we still got the thing, the hands to go through. And you do get a plethora, uh, plethora, an assortment of fingers. So right now, he has a displayed open hands. You also get, all the hands are in pairs as well. You get a pair of trigger hands. So you can use these for your bust the buster rifles. You get a pair of fist. So you get a pair of fist. And you also get a pair of beam saber holding hands. And speaking of beam sabers, you do get two uh, green, clear green beams that actually have a slight curve to them. I think these are the same ones they pulled from the um, Proto Zero, I believe. And I don't know. Also, the other piece I mentioned, this is like his butt cover piece for the Baction Base. I'm trying to get this in shot. That's the piece that I removed for it to connect the action base to. So you get that. Also, you get water slide decals with this bad boy. And there's a lot of them too. I'm not going to use these. But there's a lot of them. So yeah, there's that. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, transformation next. Which, oh boy, that's going to be something.
<laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and do the uh, transformation for this. Also, now that I'm looking at this right now, um, I'm going to transform it back afterwards. But it looks like it can hold the Buster Rifle with both hands. Maybe. It does look like it. So we're not going to do the normal, you know, the normal pose, how it looks, which I did with the old Master Grade. We're going to do the other one. So we're going to do the bird mode ones. So I haven't done this yet, like I said, so please bear in mind with me. So we're not using this piece, so thank God for that. We will use this. Um, oops. So on this is two pieces, an action base connector and the piece that will connect on to the Gundam itself. We'll need both Buster Rifles for this, so we'll fold these back up and put them in. We're going to fold them up like so, like this. And we're going to need the shield. So with the shield, I know we're going to get it somewhat ready by doing this. Um, flipping this part out up the top and pulling out the uh, this part here. We'll just leave it like so. And uh, <coughs> open up those. So the first part is to do the legs, which is I never like these legs, which is just do this. You basically gotta bend it back and get the leg is supposed to look awkward as fuck, anyways, and it's supposed to look chicken legged so that's what we're doing um i will say this much right now about this in chicken legged transformations i don't like them as much um wing zero it's okay impulse it's okay h2 normal uh my i'm not gonna say it but i hate that one because now i gotta fix it because one of his legs is not holding up right so that's the start of it. So you chicken leg him and bend the foot down. Uh, are his legs lined up properly? Okay, good. That's the first step. <coughs> also, you want to use the, uh, the fist. I put the fist on him so, you know, less space and less obvious of the hands. Um, these yellow, these red bits on him, fold them in. I'm going to have to glue this part on him too so they don't fall off either. So rotate the arm inwards. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention there is a rotation at this part too. Yeah, he has rotation below his elbow. So rotate that part. That's the part that gets rotated. And then we slide these parts up to expose the uh, connector point. I don't know why this one isn't. Oh, now it exposes, but I gotta have the arm. Oh, crap. This part fell off. There we go. So I want the gray parts exposed on the inside of his arm. Probably can't see it, but right here, this has to be exposed. And uh, bring the shoulders down as you normally would. So this is what we have so far. Don't mind him looking off into whatever Narnia. So. This is basically what we have so far. Don't worry if they don't go all the way down. It's fine. Next up, we're going to swing the arms out like so. To get them out the way. Oh. 
these come up swing their arms out <laughs> I don't know why this piece is coming out so probably after this review I'm gonna probably end up gluing part of this uh, product but there is something I want to mention after this though which is probably why I, I might wait or I might buy a second one of these and then we move these up and out the way these move towards the back I'm still looking at this right. Sometimes the instructions are kind of vague about things, so uh, take it how you will. So I'm going to turn these up, and next is oh, this part. Uh, I hate this one. So I have to move this part down. Oh, and it's going to connect into his butt flap or back skirt. Okay, so let me see. Okay, yeah, so there is a peg on here. I can't show it. But, um, so it's going to be hard to show this, but there is a peg like right in there that connects into the hole right here. And trying to get that to line up because like I said I haven't done this before so I don't know how well okay there we go can I still connect this in here oh good I can so there you go that's his wings oh okay and if I'm not oh wait am I thinking something I'm trying to see how this works because I haven't done this before so we connect that down there so if I close these wings which honestly they shouldn't uh, oh that those wings was not annoying so now this is what you should have on the back this back is mostly exposed and everything so you won't be able to notice it from the well you can kind of notice it from the side that's what it should look like Okay, next up is the the big wings. And what do they want me to do? Uh I guess um so they ooh I almost had it. That's what they wanted me to do was to rotate this up to get it underneath the arm. And then rotate this and have it upwards like so. This is not, it's possible to probably do this with the uh, wings on, but I don't know. The joints on mine are stiff, so if I, I would suggest, you know, do this with them off. And then try this, so maybe it'll be easier. But actually, this isn't bad looking so far for the. I think this is atmosphere. No, this is space bird mode, if I'm not mistaken, we're doing. Oh, okay, so. What we was doing was. Ba okay, yeah. This is a uh, <clears throat> space bird mode we're doing. Okay, so this is fine. So once you bring these up and over, before you close them in, you want to take this part here. And let me see. Just like so. Um, Crap. So, there's pegs here. These pegs here are the ones that's going to connect into the little slots here on this piece where the, you can see through them. 
Now, that's going to be the hard part to do because you can't really see it. <clears throat> but from what the instructions is saying, you kind of want to connect them on first before pushing this part in there. So, I mean, this is crazy. I don't even know if I can get both in here or not. Um, even with it closed. Because the problem is the part they want me to connect is actually the part that actually slides open. So that's a concern. But it's doable. I just got to fix the... Uh, trying to get this connected back in here and do this. So, so turn the feathers out. Yes. Okay. So it looks like it is doable to a degree. Just, they just finicky. There. Yeah, except one of them, I'm sorry. These do get, they go in there. It's just, the perspective of it is, they don't want us both be in there at the same time. There we go. Then we bring the arms down with the uh, shoulders. So we have this. And uh, screw the wings. <laughs> screw this backpack. I need to super glue this part in here. So um, open up the wings like so, have them at angles. And this is coming undone. And that is coming off. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, we can actually switch his back. We can switch the action base connector now. So we don't have to use the one that's shown right now. So we'll leave that butt flap one in there. I don't care. Let me try to get his wings back on him. So this piece connects into here like so. It connects into the gray part and we're going to adjust this to basically be like so. I don't know if I can I'm not even gonna try to lock him in actually you know I do want to try to lock these back in because I wouldn't feel right if I didn't It's now I know why part of the back is popping up because it's the wings. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is I'm sorry that it is taking really long to do a transformation. But hey, it's the nature of the master grade. And because I like wing zero, it's going to be this way on me. Now 
Wait a minute. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Okay, so after, you know, fighting with this thing for a good portion of like, I don't know, five minutes. We got it how it should be and it's locked in place and that's what it looks like so far. Now we need to add in the, yeah, the wings are in place, the back skirts out the way, arms are to the side of him. Yeah, so, like I said, the shield is already prepped. Just make sure that this piece is rotated so that it can come up above. And let's see, how do we connect the shield? It shows it just... Oh, so that little gap in the back, that's where this connects into. Oops. So I'm going to get this up here. Actually, no. Before that, I'm going to take the shield and get the beam, the buster rifles on it first. I almost said beam rifles. So, give me a second to, so we want this with the buster rifles and the shield and just snap this right on top like so so it just snaps right on top it's not the best I like how like wing zero has theirs but hey I'm not complaining and take the uh, the cover and cover the head so this is the atmospheric flight mode um, from what I've seen the only difference between this one and the other one is you just don't bring the wings out in front. The wings actually stay behind and they'll be more like these instead of being downwards they'll be upwards and these wings will be up to the side. More like just rotate it outwards. So uh, let's do that. So uh Oddly enough, you can choose either one. The first couple of steps of like moving the uh, the wings down and the arms, that's the same. The rest of it is different. Hmm. I thought the arms locked into place onto something, but I guess they don't because I remember seeing like a peg or something in the uh, like in the waist, on one of the waist pieces. But I guess I was wrong, so. So let's go ahead and do the other one. So we're gonna rotate these wings upward. So these wings are gonna be like that. And we'll remove this, unpeg those, and hopefully swing these outwards. And my camera is loose and fidgety so uh, so instead I take this and I leave this as is I don't remember which way is the proper way for it to be upright because <laughs> I don't want it when I transform it back I want it to look okay so this is accurate so 
rotate and wait a minute oh okay wait no rotate up like so and this is uh, get in there Trying to do this is awkward. But yeah, that's basically what the one wing will look like. And let's see if I can do this with the other one. And I'll just move the arm the other arm back. And rotate rotate and rotate yeah so this is basically it uh less than this theastic as you know wing zero well proto zeros but hey, uh, you can't complain about it. So yeah, that's his bird mode for atmosphere. It's not bad looking per se. It's just more awkward at best because <laughs> the body doesn't really transform as much. So yeah, you have that. So this is the bird mode. That's bird, bird mode. So give me a second to transform this back and we'll get final thoughts. Okay, so for final review and thoughts of this guy. It's totally worth it for the masquerade of having it. It's a like, is it worth getting? Yes. Is it worth the price you pay for it? Yes. <laughs> Does he complete the Gundam Wing fanboy collection? Yes. <laughs> now there is one more thing I want to mention. I saw an LED set for this guy. I know where, but he doesn't light up. Um, there's an LED set I saw that was on Amazon. That lets the head, the chest, the shoulders, I think the legs, part of the waist, and the arms light up and everything. So there is that. So I do have that on order. So I'm just waiting for that to come in. Once that comes in, I'll take this guy apart to put it in. Luckily, from what I've seen, it's not too hard or bad to do. It's not like I need a whole new one to do this. At least luckily for me, the head is not a pain in the ass to deal with. But yeah, I saw the LED for it. I'm just waiting for it to come in. So I'm going to put that in this guy. Then I'm going to do a part two for this guy where we show that off. But overall, this guy is worth it. It's, it's an awesome Master Grade. It's been years. It's been close to 20 years since he had an upgrade. And now that we got one, it's totally worth it. And it gives him the it does give him the respect that he deserves and then it makes him look good too am I complaining? no I only do I have any grapes? yes are they really big? not so much or depends on how you look at it the kit overall it looks great it's wing zero it's redone it looks amazing it stacks up better than the old one I mean, heck, it comes with a shield. It transforms. I mean, what more could you ask for with that? Not much, really. Now, could the transformation been a little bit better? Eh, maybe, but who's complaining? I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's two different modes. One that looks okay. The other looks kind of shoddy hit or miss but honestly no one's really complaining 
functionality, it works. It looks amazing. I mean, for what you pay for it, I think Gundam Planet sells this one about $56. Amazon is about 61 I got mine from Gundam Planet with the uh, another one I'm going to be reviewing next. Uh, the Seven Sword G. Double o rock, the double o seven sword G. So yeah, overall this guy it does a good job of being Wing Zero. It looks amazing. I like the two tone blue in there. It gives it some life. It shows some contrast. I like that there's moving parts on the head, the legs, the arms, the shoulders. Even this little light blue piece that popped off earlier during the review that was part that's supposed to be a part that opens up for zero system mode or the zero system is activated so overall this is a nice kit now like I said I'm waiting on the LED set and uh hold on let me check Amazon see if there was any update on it I doubt that Amazon would say anything about it because I believe it's shipping from China or Japan uh it says it was shipped, but it's been roughly over a week since it's any update. All I know is that it left the carrier facility back like five days ago, six days ago. It left the car uh, the carrier facility four days ago, five days ago, which I'm pretty sure that's coming out of China, I think. Updates has been slow and sus and questionable at best with orders like this and they're roughly going to make me wait roughly a month or so for DK here. Hopefully it gets here before then because I would like to review this. Uh, the earliest I can see this would be 10 days from now. Well, 10 days from the time of recording but it may be less time when this is uploaded. So roughly, it could be anywhere between the 22nd to the 12th. So when it gets here, we'll do that and take care of that. So yeah, this is Wing Zero. I'll see you guys next time with the next one. There's only two left, and that's the Curios and the 007 Sword G. So take care, guys.